Oh my god, it has been a while. What's up friends? It's Chris and on this video I'm ready to go back to making content and I'm ready to share my review of various art supplies. It's been a hot minute, I know, but we're gonna start hot and fresh with this awesome, awesome package that I got from um, Shopee. This is from Alan J. Kizara and I bought from his online shop a special, special palette. But um, along with this watercolor set that I bought, um, he gave me this as a freebie. Um, three tubes of tempera colors from Nabskala Palitra's White Nights. Yes, the same company that does White Nights. But... Uh, yes, I'm opening it like caveman as usual. Uh, so here. I think I should mute this down and give an aesthetic opening. Okay, as you can see here, guys, um, I bought the set of granulating paints from White Knights and dang sure I'm really excited to see what's inside and properly sealed amazing 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 I love it for that you know that the box that I'm getting is fresh and new this is what I love about getting back into arts you know So the plastic upon first feel feels very standard, it feels nice on the hands, let's put it there. So it comes with a swatch card, Not it doesn't feel like the best watercolor paper but we're gonna do it. And then you have here of course its identification but what matters most right now is this palette already. So super granulation, super granulating watercolors, and uh, I'm so excited. Um, first impressions, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it feels very nice in the hands. I can't pop up the mixing tray here, but I know this, yes, here we go. So you have here this mixing tray with a second batch underneath, which is very nifty, very cool. And one feature of this one actually is that you could extend your palette to have several mixing spaces. I love that about this um, design by White Knights. And what matters most here are the paints. I can't wait to swatch them. I can't wait to open them. This super granulation set that um, White Knights has, they started with this 12 and then they expanded with three more, counting to 15. And as shared by Alan, there's now 20 or more of these granulation specialty paints from White Knights and I'm excited to get my hands on them. But for now, we work with this. All right, so it's been a while. Um, I've been gone for a while. And that's because um, I just got super busy with work and other things in my personal life that I didn't find time to um, to do art. And you know what? Uh, I'm at the span of my hiatus. The the video I have on the various Derwent um, pencil comparison got to more than 10,000 views now at this point of recording and I couldn't be more grateful. Um, thank you guys for um, watching my simple review on that. I, I know I'm not the most credible person based on talent alone but you know what? Thank you for watching that and if you're here because of that video, I do a good number of art supply reviews and um, I also do some art stories, art talk. I call it art to heart. And now I'm struggling to get it out. So it pops out, revealing here. Um, so probably you could put, maximize this palette by just, you know, having this as your mixing tray and have the paints out. But uh, I think that's not practical. So let's open it up. 
the Nevskaya Felitra White Knights is packaged like candy. It's absolutely awesome to open. Feels like really you're getting yourself a treat. So it's wrapped in both this um, info pack and in foil. And since it's cold here in Baguio City, I'm expecting it's easier to peel. But um, the thing is, since they have um, very emollient formulas, very um, sticky formulas, um, you can't help but have some stuck in the package. Which, you know what? I'm going to make use of. Don't worry, I'm not gonna waste any paint here. A lot of amazing thing has happened lately, guys. Um, I've It's my second year working now as a guidance counselor and um, despite you know the typical struggles faced as a in the helping profession, I'm proud of the work that I do. I'm so happy to actually help out these students that I have with their mental health. I'm proud of the work that I put in when it comes to my job, um, right in front, um, not just actually impacting directly our learners, but actually helping families out. Recently, I've been handling some cases related beyond um, typical school adjustment of our kids and um, even beyond working with families. Plus, I have been volunteering to be a speaker in several, several other um, mental health advocacies and I love what I do. I'm just so fortunate enough to be given this voice in our guidance and counseling community here in Baguio City and moreover than that um, it's just the pleasure of really spending time talking to people getting to know their stories <laughs> well that flicked all right so it is kind of sticky to hold but uh, once you click in the channel for the paints i think it's going to be pretty secured and that's half of it and the colors right now looks very dark in the pan but you know what um that's a good thing because it means that it's going to be pigmented i think white knights reformulated because they're very sticky right now i love it but at the same time ooh, it's a struggle okay let's not waste paint Small dollops of it could actually be turned to art supply still. There we go. Alright, so this is how it's looking right now. And ooh, dang it. So yeah, the wrapper's already stained the cover. And you know what? It is what it is. We'll try to clean it up. Maybe use it. I don't know. I'll Picking a struggle right now, and I would want to just close this up. And we're going to swatch from these um, packets first. So we'll do that. We'll show to you the swatched output on the paper and give you my first impressions. Then we'll do color by color. Hi, it's Voice Over Chris here, and. Um, the one that I swatched on a on the card was a bit of a failure when I started to record it so we're now swatching them on a 100% cotton Bao Hong Academy hot pressed um, watercolor block and the first color that you're seeing here is probably my favorite it is violet mist it um, it granulates in such an interesting way wherein you could see the PB29, PG17, and then the PR187, 187, which are all um, granulating colors. And it has a 3-star rating, semi-transparent, and of course it splits among the different components into this misty dark blue and purple granulation. and. Um, all of these paints, I believe, will work well with a lot of water. So the second color that you see here is Hematite Mist, consisting of PB29 and PR101, which is 
the um, Indian Red or um, sometimes Terra Rosa depends on the formulation and it granulates and splits really well. However, this is more opaque than other watercolors within the set. Nevertheless, such a beautiful color once it starts to split with the different components. Um, by the way, the way I'm swatching it right now, I'm just playing with the colors and trying to make a sort of a landscape a la prima sort of situation right here just to get, give me a feel of the colors that we have at hand. So the third color that I'm swatching right now is an absolute darling of a color. This color is Cobalt Mist if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise this might be Sky Blue Shadows. Um, I'm not sure I got the colors pretty much mixed up but if um, more likely this is Sky Blue Shadows PB28 and PBK11 we're in um, the black granulation of the PBK11 shows once you have it diluted with a lot of water yeah I'm so sorry guys for mixing them up but I'm going with my gut and I believe that this is indeed um, Sky Blue Shadows. This next color is probably one of my favorites when swatched out. Um, it may not be that seen here on this painting right now, but this gray, um, what color is this? Gray pink mist consisting of PB29, PG17, and PR187 splits very beautifully it is very reminiscent of the daniel smith's um moon glow so there is that it's very beautiful the next color that i'm showing here is a more simple um shade this is i believe um aquamarine mist which consists of pb29 and pg7 it's it's luminous it's bright but it's not a go-to color you could see here um it's a very interesting color if you plan to do um marine scapes or underwater scenes but for my um my preferred subjects and how i like to work this i think would be a good mixing color if in case i want to work with water or aquatic creatures by the way, the palette here is very biasly cool toned. The warmest shade that you can get here is the Hamatite Mist, but the rest um, are very much cool blues and purples. The next color that I'm swatching out here is Green Shadow. Okay, the Green Shadow shade consists of, um, of PBK11 and PG7. So it is now the Mars Black and the um, PG7, I think it is a thalo green shade. So it's very bright, but it has that interesting black granulation once the paint has settled in. You need more of the pigment in order to let the um, black pigments and speckling show. This next color is a, a beautiful and a very bright color. I can't believe that this is um, mixed together with a lot of the quote-unquote mist sort of shades. This one is cold lilac mist consisting of PB29 and PR122. Very interesting shade but not, um, it's not one of my favorites. I prefer these dark colors. Now this is probably one of my favorites, Violet Shadows, PBK11 and PV23 and look at how it moves across the page. It just shoots out from the brush and into the wet surface. This is one of the um, colors that loves to move so much in wet into wet and I think um, I would be using this a lot in place of just my um, simple violet shades in my palette. The next color that I'm swatching out here is very interesting. Um, it's a, another um, green shade. It's called Talga Mist, consisting of PBR7 and PB15 colon 3. 
So um, this color is reminiscent of a Daniel Smith um, Primatek color. I am not sure. I think it's Jadeite genuine. Um, but you know, it consists of these pigments. The next color I'm swatching here on the bottom corner is a shadow color. It's a dark blue shadow color, which is going to be perfect for underwater or um, ocean, ocean type of paintings or stormy skies. Um, I love it. Um, this color consists of PBK11 and PB15 um, Colin 6. So you see the black granulating really, really nicely. You have here next is now blue shadows. I believe this is consisting of PB29 and PBK11. So another variation of that um, um, color. And it's very nice. Um, although um, it's a bit more common mix because basically it's a... Um, it's a ultramarine blue mixed with Mars black. So um, I don't know a particular niche for this, but definitely it's going to work well with um, waterscapes as well. The last one is the Cobalt Mist. It's a very interesting shade, but it's very simple to mix together um, in your palette. It consists of PB28 and PBK7, so it's not even using Mars Black anymore, but instead the usual Ivory Black. And um, it's an okay shade, but um, definitely not one of the MVP watercolor shades. So among the painted um, swatches here um definitely the ones that stand out the most for me is the violet mist the hematite mist and you have here um the sky blue shadows um to some extent also the blue shadows are pretty amazing as well so this is what the paints look like up close while they are still damp um the color splits among all of these ones are very pronounced and then there are specific um colors that um shows very subtle granulations these white knights granulating paints are great alternatives to the more expensive daniel smith and schminka watercolors which that's one reason why I love these particular art supplies because um, these art supplies gives you more options to choose from and not just the expensive brands. Um, that is why I, White Knights will remain as one of the top three um, watercolors if not my top watercolor choice for beginners. Um, by the way, speaking of being beginner friendly, um, Although White Knight's watercolor paints are pretty affordable, this particular palette I think isn't going to be suitable if you're just starting out with watercolors. Definitely, if you want to um, learn how to do watercolors, you have to begin first with the um, standard set. And then when you're ready to go on an adventure, um, getting a deeper dive into using granulation paints, then this is a great place to learn it. These are the colored out, out. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching my review of the White Knights um, granulating paints. This paint set, very unique. And if you're starting to branch out even more after taking on the basics of using watercolors, this is a great set for you to have. And yes, this is just an empty box of it because the palette is right here on my table. So yeah, um, again, um, the link to um, Alan's shop is there on the description along with a few of my other thoughts regarding this palette. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope that you learned a thing or two and maybe um, after the long hiatus I get to post more videos of art supply reviews and maybe I'm thinking and I'm hoping to have more art talks and um, whatever happens guys I hope that you are always staying safe, always staying happy, always staying healthy and I wish you all the love and as always peace. Take care everybody.